it's hard to spot a good bureaucrat at a glance. Hey, I am Chuck the Bureaucrat, and recently I've been talking about this human computer that is the Pentagon and all the major components that go into it and how they work together. I mean, we've talked about the different layers and the different roles. We've talked about the little old ladies in tennis shoes and the grumpy old men. And today, what I want to do is I want to introduce three approaches that people take to doing bureaucratic work and talk about the challenges of working with those people. The first group of bureaucrats know how the system works and they use it to accomplish the goals of their leaders. These people are like eagles. They leap into the air and soar on thermal vents. And when the moment is right, they strike with precision and violence. Then you have folks who know how the system works but they use that system to their personal advantage, not to benefit their leadership. These people are like albatrosses. They can stay aloft for very long times, but takeoff and landing is not a pretty sight. Third, you got people who don't know how the system works, but they genuinely want to get things done for their leaders. These people can be kind of tragic. They're like a little sparrow trapped in a garage because the door closed them in. They're frantically banging into windows, knocking over paint cans. They tend to make a lot of noise and a big mess. And unfortunately, a lot of times they tend to hurt themselves rather than actually get anything done. The challenge for an executive in dealing with these three types of bureaucrats is that they're difficult to tell apart. That sparrow looks like a real go-getter. And an albatross and an eagle, they look a lot alike until the moment of truth. But there are some telltale signs that you can take advantage of. The sparrow gives himself away because he tends to use completely arbitrary milestones. He says things like, in 90 days, I will accomplish X. Or, the report will be complete 180 days from the beginning of work. You see, inside the bureaucracy, what you're really doing is competing for resources. And so the most important engagements that your office is going to have are going to be external events. The schedule that matters is outside the sparrow's control, and it's likely to be far more specific and inconvenient. The report is due by the 18th of May and must be put in for three-star staffing by the 2nd of February. A related giveaway that you're dealing with a sparrow is that their most frantic activity is triggered internally. They enter their highest state of activity because their raider or senior raider said something to them. A bureaucrat who understands the system, of course they're going to respond to their leadership, but they'll also respond to things that are happening outside the office. The good news is it's easy to fix a sparrow at work. In fact, you do it the same way you'd fix a sparrow that was trapped in your garage. You just open the door. That gives them a chance to fly out, work with other offices, and soar. Now, like I said, it can be hard to tell the difference between an eagle and an albatross, a bureaucrat who's using the system to get what his boss wants versus one who's using the system to get what he wants. But there are some telltale signs. The eagle is going to make minor adjustments as they close in for the kill. That rabbit or fish, it does not want to get caught, and so it will dodge. And the same thing happens with the schedule for these important external meetings. They're going to change at the last minute. And that eagle is going to adjust to those changes. Meanwhile, the albatross, he knows he's going to botch the landing. Last minute change, oh well, better luck next year. Another thing that an albatross will do is they focus on information gathering. They are always waiting to hear back from somebody before they take action. And if they do have a course of action that they recommend, it tends to sound a lot like, let's wait till next year when we have more data. Unfortunately, rehabilitating an albatross is not as easy as just opening the garage door. One simple technique is you can pair an albatross with a sparrow and kind of combine the stamina of one with the energy of the other. Another thing you can do is you can strategically assign your albatross to 
an issue that has a very long timeline and that doesn't have any immediate dramatic impacts on your office. Now, the reason this can be tricky is because it's not like there's a clear line between an albatross and an eagle. Sometimes an eagle is gonna miss the mark. And other times there's gonna be an albatross who has something that they really, really care about. Leading a team of bureaucrats to successfully compete for the resources that your boss needs, that's no minor task. But if you're gonna deliver for your boss, that's exactly the kind of leadership you're gonna to have to provide. Now, go check out this video to understand what it is that your boss needs from you.